All right, guys, we're going to show you how to set up your new Ares Delta really quick. First thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the product page where you purchased it. Scroll down here to download Ares settings. And it's going to give you a zip file here. So go ahead and extract that. And we're going to copy this file. And we're just going to put a folder on our desktop here somewhere. All right, so now we've got a couple files in here. The ones that end in .txt. Change that extension to G-code. And say yes when it warns you. calibration.gcode, load filament.gcode. Spelled that one wrong. <coughs> and a little readme. Now we're going to take these files here and we're going to open up Matter Control and we're going to create a new printer and we're going to name it. Whatever you want, model, choose the Eris. We're going to save and continue. Go ahead and install the driver and press yes when it pops up and asks you if you want to install. And we're going to go ahead and click on the manually configure. Choose the COM port, and it's usually going to be three or four unless you have lots of USB devices. And we're going to go ahead and say connect. Connection succeeded. Done. Now we're going to go back in here, this Ares Delta dude, and we're going to edit. And we're going to uncheck this auto connect, just because that can sometimes give us some problems. And we're going to save that and close it. And now we're connected to Ares Delta. So now I'm going to remove some of these files here. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to add those files that we just downloaded, the three G code files. You can hold down control and select them all or drag a box around them and click on open. <clears throat> now we've got these three files, calibration, load, and unload. They're in the print queue. And they're just G-code files. That's why you get this G-code. For now, from here, just select it. Connect to the machine. And whichever file you choose, just come up here and click on Print. And if it's the first time, it's going to give you a warning saying, are you sure you want to run this G-code that was sliced outside of matter control? But you can probably hear it in the background here. It's actually probing. So while it's doing its probe thing, I want to talk to you guys real quick. These files that are in your queue, as well as your library, all of these files, Matter Control doesn't actually make a copy of them and store them locally. It makes a file association, so it knows where this file is located. When you added it, you're simply adding a link to that location of that file. In this case, we created that folder. It's done probing. We created a folder on our desktop for the Ares default files. Now, you'll probably want to take that and copy it into your documents folder or uh, somewhere else that you're not going to rename or delete or move those files. <clears throat> and it's a good idea to do that anyway. That way all of your files are here locally. They're not changed in Matter Control. They're just linked to where they're stored on your computer itself. Because if I was to, let's say, this calibration, if I renamed it, so 
So I renamed it to test. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to come up here to calibration and I'm going to click. It says cannot find. Would you like to remove it from the queue? Yes. So we're going to go back in here. Name it back to calibration. Add it. And now it's in here again. And then we've got our load filament and our unload filament scripts. The load filament, uh, what you do is when you feed the material through the easy extruder and the push to connect fitting on the exit side of the easy extruder, once you see the tip of the filament in the PTFE tubing, the Bowden tube itself, you can stop there, come in here, click on load filament, and click on print. And what that's going to do is preheat the hot end, get it up to 220, and then it's going to quickly advance the filament all the way up to the hot end, and then it's going to purge about 50 millimeters of filament just so you can flush out whatever material was in there before. The unload script is going to do pretty much the opposite of that. It's going to preheat the hot end. It's going to purge about 20 millimeters of filament just to make sure there's no plug on the end of the filament. And then it's going to rapidly retract it out the easy screw so that you don't have to sit there by hand holding the lever and pulling the filament out manually. The next thing we want to show you real quick is how to import the default slice settings. And if you go to settings and controls, and we'll just make sure we're in defaults and defaults. Normally you're going to see this basic. Uh, to show all of the features, go ahead and click on advanced. The next thing we want to do here is we want to import. And we're going to go to that file that we unzipped. And there are aris-defaults.ini. I'm going to click on open. And we're going to click save. So what that did was just load all of our default settings. So that's just a good starting set of slicing settings for Matter Slice built into Matter Control. And we're working with you guys that bought the first 10 machines here and some of the other demos that are out there in the wild. And as soon as we get some, some good feedback over the next week or so of any changes that we need to make, we're going to go ahead and have that burned into Matter Control so that by default, when you create a new printer and you choose the model Eris, you know, as as you're setting up the printer for the first time and you choose printer model Eris, all of those default settings will be pre-configured and ready to go. Thanks, guys.